Yeah, well, Emily Cypress Semiconductor sold about a billion dollars of cell phone chips last year. And as a market share leader, well, as goes Cypress, so goes the cell phone market. So joining me to talk about this, TJ Rogers, uh, CEO of Cypress Semiconductor. TJ, glad to have you on uh, from your offices there in San Jose. What's going on right now in the cell phone business? Are things picking up? Are things slowing down? It's hard to uh, understand what's going on in the growth there. Uh I characterize it as saying things are plowing forward at a pretty good rate despite a fairly lousy economy. So, you know, we're looking at cell phone growth. We had, we had a, a, a growth of uh, like 6% last year. We're looking at a compound growth rate of 6% going forward. So cell phones are plowing along, and, and I don't see an end to it before like 2015, 2017 in there. Is, is the, the amount of semiconductors in cell phones really going up right now? Because it seems to me that with price points of, of so-called smartphones coming down, they've got to be taking some share from the dumb phones. I don't ever hear them called dumb phones, but I'm going to call them dumb phones. Does that mean more semiconductor content in each phone? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I think the semiconductor content in phones is going to go up now. <laughs> You know, the number of chips in a phone is going to go up. Whether or not we're going to get more dollars for it is a different question. But uh, I think the, you know, the Apple iPhone and the high-end phones, BlackBerry, et cetera, are causing everybody to look and see that the cell phone is going to be a lot more than something you make a phone call on. As a matter of fact, you know, I just saw a movie last week and somebody is saying she never used her cell phone because she texted all the time. Um, my favorite restaurant in Palo Alto is right next to the Apple App Store, and the place is always a zoo. This is becoming a platform where the, the world is landing on this platform. It's, it's getting high-definition video. It's getting uh, 4G uh, capability. It's getting USB 3 at 5 gigabits per second. Cell phones are, are going to become a platform uh, more ubiquitous and probably more important than the personal computer. So given all that, how come your guidance for your company isn't going up, at least in the next quarter? Is it going to be bumpy? Is, like, what's, you would think in a market growing that fast that it would just be up and to the right. Okay. <laughs> well, what do I say? We screwed up. Uh, the cell phone market is marching along and it's got a cadence. And if you miss a generation by having a chip be late and, and you need uh, three new chips every year to add the new features, uh, you're going to get hurt. And what can I say? Our guys and I missed a generation, and we're taking it in the shorts in the first quarter of this year. Uh, we expect uh, to, to come back and take our share. We've got the chip out. It's working now. But it's going to take us about a quarter to get our new chip designed in and, and on. So uh, don't blame the market. Uh, blame me. <clears throat> TJ, I know people say that you lack candor. No, but seriously, where, where, so where are you putting your bets? What do you think are the, the technologies that you've got to put your bets in now, chip-wise, so that it'll be in phones, you know, a year from now? Well, it's kind of interesting. Uh, by accident, uh, I had a review this morning, and I think one thing that's going to be uh, pervasive uh, among all handheld devices and other devices as well as the touch interface. So that, that wonderful interface that, that came in the original iPhone, uh, and this is a capacitive touch interface, not the older resistive touch interfaces you've got to kind of push on. This is the one, the real light touch that works. That interface is going across the board. Uh, cell phones will be part of the market, but there will be a much bigger market of other handheld devices, uh, other pieces of equipment. So we're putting our money in this case on uh, touch screen interfaces and the ability to control them and then with them having the computing power to run the device, uh, the complete device. Now, a cell phone, we don't make the chips to run a cell phone, but, but we do make chips that will run many other handheld devices in addition to running the touch screen. Well, what are those devices? I mean, what are, I, you know, the cell phone market is, is so big and still growing so fast that I think it tends to obscure other consumer electronics growth. But what other types of devices or uses do you see uh, that are sort of number two or number three in terms of growth? Um, in terms of things that, that will become evident in the future, um, if you go look at a Tesla, right, if you want to look at the next generation automobile, what it's going to look like, it's going to be powered by electricity, it's not going to have a gas tank, it's going to have good acceleration, then you walk into a Tesla and you're looking at an HD TV screen and you, you touch the screen. No knobs, no buttons, nothing, just a flat panel and, and you talk to it. And automobiles, uh, many, many of our designs are, are we, we have a huge number of designs in automobiles. The problem is that it takes about three years to bring a car out. So we've been scoring big in cars for 18 months now, and uh, we're, we're not going to see the, the money from it. And, the, you know, the glory, maybe get on your show again when those cars start coming out. We're in the Volt, for example. 
That's, that's, that's a, a really big one. Uh, and, and basically anything you touch, television sets, uh, anything that you touch is going, to be, is going to be obsolete if it doesn't have touch on it. There's a great story. Uh, one of my friends has a, a granddaughter and they just bought a big new LCD television. So she walks up to this 54-inch screen and goes like this. And is trying to get the screen to start flipping. Ah. And she says, Daddy is broken. So uh, what I'm saying is, is the touch screen technology is going pervasive. And, and anything that the consumer is going to look like it's out of 1950 if it doesn't have touch on it. Right, all right. TJ Rogers, Cyber Semiconductor CEO. Really appreciate it. Uh, good stuff. Emily?